I was very happy and excited that I got Omega. In fact, I was, uh, you know, much more happy to get Omega than Davros or Master because he's a very singular character. There's not a lot of him, uh, literally, um, but there's not a lot of him in the in the show. It's just two stories, and uh, it was. I saw him very much as a tragic figure on a, on a lot of levels. Um, I used to play um, Pink Floyd's "Shine On You Crazy Diamond" a lot while I was writing it because. He did feel a lot like Sid Barrett, you know, the loony who was responsible for the, the success of the group, but was too too mad to be in the group. So I mean, there's very much Sid Barrett and Pink Floyd, but he's also like a Phantom of the Opera character. Uh, again, in the Ark of Infinity, there are, there, are, there are huge parallels to Frankenstein's monster as he's roaming the streets and he can't control his uh, the deterioration in his in his body. So it, it is a wonderfully tragic figure. And there's glimpses of that in The Three Doctor. And there's glimpses of that in Arkham Infinity. And, you know, I did really like that, that lonely guy pressing his nose up against the glass of our universe, wanting to come in. So I started the, the, the premise of Omega from The Flying Dutchman. And it went in all different directions after that. But that's where I started. It, it actually works very much, very well for, for radio having a solitary, lonely figure because, you know, the less characters you need to bring in. Doing Omega is probably more fun than doing the Daleks or the Cybermen because you have a person you can interact with and explore their character and their frustration. So I really did like that. As for the comedy, I always write comedy. I, I think the best way to get into character is through comedy. Uh, you know, if you just do drama, 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 you miss an aspect of the human condition because people are funny all the time, even in terrible situations. You know, the automatic instinct of when you meet anyone in the street is to make a humorous comment or crack a joke. So if you start off with your characters as funny, I think you care more about them when bad things happen to them. And that's certainly the case with in Omega with Daland and Professor Eticus. You know, these are people you get to know and you get to like and you like them because they're funny in certain kinds of ways. Dallin is quite pompous, so is Urticus in his way, you know, um, a bit of a bore, but, 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 you know, got a twinkle in his eye. And you've got to give a twinkle, and you've got to give the humour first before you do terrible things to them, because if you just introduce a character who's flat and has no humour to them, you don't care about them. Mm -hmm.